we got this side and this side. They look a little different. Any takers? Very good. Cellular neurothechioma. I think the main differential you might think about here would be either like sarcoidal granulomas because they the cells look kind of histiocytoid and they're arranged in nests uh, or nodules that look to me a, a fair bit like granulomas so that would be one kind of differential here and then um i i was thinking yesterday i don't exactly know how to explain like why that's not a granuloma i it just looks different but maybe it's the overall pattern the fact that it's a uh, making a uh a discrete kind of mass and clinically would be like a single, usually skin colored papular nodule. Maybe that also is partly why. Here the, the nests are quite large, so you can have small nests or big nests. And uh, the other differential would be a melanocytic lesion, either like a Spitz nevus or even maybe melanoma because cellular neurothechiomas, despite the name, they are not actually neural, um, but so the name is a misnomer. Uh, no one knows exactly what these cells are, but the, the current thought is that they're either histiocytic or, or myofibroblastic or so-called fibrohistiocytic, which is not probably really a thing. We use that term a lot. It's kind of a descriptive term. But anyway, uh, the point is, is that these cells are not neural. So, and this is confused a lot. And I've got a whole video about this, uh, about the difference between uh, cellular neurothechioma and so-called conventional or myxoid neurothechioma, which is, is actually a nerve sheath tumor and is now known as a nerve sheath myxoma, digital, digital, I'm sorry, dermal nerve sheath myxoma. And the reason for all the confusion is that uh, this tumor, um, pretty often, this case doesn't have it, but oftentimes they have myxoid change and areas that look kind of hypocellular, myxoid, swirly, and nodular that very closely resemble uh, nerve sheath myxoma, which used to be known as conventional or, or myxoid type neurothechioma. So the, thus the confusion. And then with immunohistochemistry, it was very easy to realize, oh, these things are not related because uh, nerve sheath myxomas, uh, that, the ones that used to be called myxoid neurothechioma, they are S100 and SOX10 positive because they are true neural Schwann cell based lesions. They're nerve sheath tumors. These tumors are negative for uh, regular S100 and SOX10. They are have been a, a variety of markers have been proposed for these. They they for some reason stain with this variation of S100 called S100A6, which stains a lot of different stuff. They also stain with NKIC3 and PGP9.5. I I personally do not utilize these markers. I think that morphology plus negativity for for regular melanocytic markers like SOX, S100, MART1. Um, is to me enough for me to be comfortable making this diagnosis most of the time. But other people like those markers, but I find those markers kind of nonspecific because they can stain other histiocytic things, other melanocytic things. So, so you can watch my other video, which I talk about all that in detail. But these tumors often have myxoid change. They often have multinucleated cells. They can have um, pretty striking atypia, mitotic activity, even occasionally atypical mitotic figures. So this one doesn't have all that stuff, but it's important to know about them because when they have those atypical features, if you mistake this for a melanocytic lesion, you're going to call it like a spitzoid melanoma or something. So, and it's going to be a big, deep lesion. And a lot of times these are on like the, the face or the, the shoulder, upper arm of, of young adults or kids. So, you know, you're going to result in significant surgery and uh, lymph nodes and all so sorts of stuff. Whereas uh, cellular neurothechiomas, even when they have atypical features, uh, as far as we know, they have benign behavior. They, one thing I find helpful is the nuclei pretty reg pretty distinctly have this very fine, delicate, like pale chromatin that's like kind of uh, open. See that? We call that euchromatin, that kind of cleared out nuclear chromatin. And even on this kind of faded scan, I think you can still see it. It's this fine, delicate, like slightly speckled chromatin pattern, uh, kind of resembling histiocyte nuclei. But I do feel like it's kind of a reproducible finding in cellular neurothechioma. So that's a bit of a subtlety, but you can try that out and see if you, if you like it. So cellular neurothechioma, kind of a, a fascinating uh, uh, entity with a confusing name.